Major General Yusuf Mangabarani, or as his name translates into English, Joe Brave Mango. After only four months in Aceh, he's earned the right to have some fun. The general has been sent here to wipe out the Achenese armed separatist movement, GUM. As commander of the whole military operation, Manga Barani has tens of thousands of soldiers and police at his beck and call. In Aceh, he really is the big mango. Not long ago, there's no way he could have thrown a party like this. Gum were too strong. But with the combined might of the police and military behind him, the general now has the rebels on the run. He now feels so secure that even his wife has joined him. Hasil terakhir makin kondusif situasinya dan merupakan ya kesenangan tersendiri seninya operasi di situ kalau ada melihat aslinya bisa dinikmati oleh masyarakat. Petugas pengamanan itu merasa senang bahwa masyarakat sudah mulai bisa tersenyum, bisa mulai berkurang kekhawatirannya dan juga ketakutannya. Many of these people would strongly disagree. Just over two years ago, close to one million Achenese gathered in the provincial capital, Banda Aceh, to call for a referendum on independence. After decades of suffering under Indonesian rule, a clear majority of Achenese want out. But after watching East Timor break away, Indonesia is determined not to lose Aceh. The result, at least 1,700 people, mostly civilians, have been killed in the last year alone. And independence is now spoken of only in whispers. People here in the capital have grown accustomed to the nightly roadblocks. Local and paramilitary police are checking documents and looking for gum members. In the interrogation room at the station, police intelligence officers have a handy reference to their most wanted. It's the gum wall of infamy. Seperti ini. Ini nama Ismuhar. Dulu dia polisi. Kemudian satu tahun dinas karena dia emang disusupi oleh uh, gam itu dia membelot dengan membawa sembilan pucuk senjata AK-47 punya polisi. Nah, setelah itu senjatanya dipakai untuk nembaki kita juga gitu. Jadi kalau ini Ramadan tegulan, hmm? ini pembunuh polisi Kopka. Dia propaganda ininya pintar sekali terhadap masyarakat itu. Memutar balikan fakta cerita yang tidak sesuai ya. Kemudian dia sangat pintar sekali mempengaruhi masyarakat. Iya. To find Ishak Daud, I have to travel 500 kilometers east of the capital. The ring around Gum is tightening. On the main road, I lost count of the number of army and police roadblocks.
After a series of rendezvous with gum escorts, I'm finally taken to meet their leader. Ishak Daud is the gum spokesman in East Aceh, large parts of which are controlled by his guerrillas. Over the years, people here have suffered some of the worst of the military's excesses. So it's not surprising that GUM receives such strong support. Without that support, GUM would get nowhere. They're fighting a traditional guerrilla war of hit and run attacks. They ambush soldiers, policemen and informers, then retreat to hide amongst the villagers. Saudara, saya sudah turun ke lapangan hari ini melihat GAM. Kenyataannya GAM adalah di masyarakat. GAM dilindungi oleh masyarakat, GAM dibiayai oleh masyarakat. Jadi kalau mereka mengatakan tiap hari GAM terjepit, GAM sudah kewalahan, Isa Daud sudah dicari ke mana-mana. Tapi hari ini saudara sudah turun kemari. Apa uh, pendapat masyarakat yang sudah saudara wawancari? Macam mana GAM bergaul dengan masyarakat? Di mana GAM tidur? Siapa yang biaya GAM? Itu kan sudah jelas. But the villagers pay a high price for that support. Ishak Daud says that after every gum ambush, the security forces take their revenge. Houses are burned down, possessions are stolen, and people are attacked or killed. Kalau ada kontak senjata antara GAM dengan TNI atau SBIJ, mereka terus masyarakat jadi sasaran. Up! Bridges here are designed to be quickly dismantled to slow the military's advance. This also makes life more difficult for GAM and the villagers. In fact, people say that life is harder than it's ever been. Even worse than the brutal 10-year-long military operation known as DOM. Ishak Daud is taking me to a gravesite where nine civilians are buried. Victims, he says, of state-sponsored terror. Dom, dom parah juga, tapi tidak pernah dibunuh uh, satu hari dalam sekelip mata sampai 35 orang. Hmm. Sembilan orang masyarakat sipil yang tidak bersalah, anak-anak kecil diambil, dipotong, hmm. ditanam hidup-hidup. Jadi masa dom tidak pernah sampai segitu. Satu, satu, satu dihabisin. At the beginning of this year, President Megawati Sukarno Putri put the hardline two-star general, Yusuf Mangabarani, in charge of a new, deadly offensive against GAM. Mereka uh, orang tidak kurang pendidikan, mereka bekas preman, bekas narapidana, uh, bekas sekolah teroris di ini, dan tingkah laku mereka itu tidak disenangi dan dianu oleh masyarakat umum. Kira uh, bahwa kita harapkan bahwa Dengan partisipasi masyarakat dan uh, roda pembangunan berjalan bagus, dalam waktu dekat masalah Aceh ini bisa kita eliminir, artinya bahwa kita tangani secara baik. Berapa lama sih? Kalau eliminir itu artinya bahwa tidak habis sama sekali, sebab ini untuk menghabiskan mereka yang bergerilya ini kira-kira uh, masih butuh waktu cukup, hanya seluruh wilayah bisa kita uh, uh, tangani secara kondusif. With so many terrified people fleeing their homes, Ishak Daud and his bodyguards have ample choice of places to sleep the night. He's in constant satellite phone contact with GUM leaders throughout Aceh and in Sweden, where the movement is led from exile. But this is a long way from Stockholm. The next morning, farmers are waiting for news that it's safe to tend their plots. They've not been able to go for four days now. The grapevine says there may still be troops around. 
Dia berogok dengan orang itu, kita mampu. Nah, maka, bahkan bukan saja di kebun-kebun yang demikian. Di sini pun, petani-petani yang ada, itu tidak berani masuk ke ke kebun. Kalau orang itu belum belum mendapat informasi yang jelas. It's like this all the time. They'll only go to work if they're absolutely certain that the troops have gone. Itu pun dengan cara hati-hati. Uh, Pelan-pelan. Tidak boleh masuk langsung itu. Kadang-kadang sebahagian. Ada orang ini yang 40. Tinggal di sini 20. Pulang 20. Nampak kita lihat ya sudah pulang. Ternyata belum habis yang dipulang itu. Yang sudah pulang itu belum habis. Sebahagian pulang, sebahagian tinggal. When the security forces sweep through, everyone disappears, running for their lives to the forest. Last time they came, this man would have run away like everyone else, but stayed with his wife, who was about to give birth. His cousin is a gum member, and this makes him and his young wife the enemy. After soldiers repeatedly stamped on her belly, her baby is lucky to be alive. Her husband went through several rounds of beatings, and then this. Dipijak di bawah perut, dipijak di perut, keluar pantat saya, keluar pantat. Udah keluar pantat saya, disuruh bangun, disuruh lari. Saya nggak bisa lari lagi. Disuruh masuk ke paret, disuruh minum air sekenyangnya. Udah saya bilang, saya pak nggak sanggup minum lagi, harus kau minum sampai muntah. Udah saya minum, karena takut saya minum sampai muntah. Udah itu disuruh naik dari paret, disuruh lari. Udah saya lari, disuruh berhenti, saya berhenti. Suruh jalan, saya jalan. The soldiers told him they would be back to burn his house down. So he and his wife have moved in with relatives. Kalau kemari ada bibi. The weekend has arrived, time for the generals running the military operation to leave the pressures of work behind. Whenever he gets the chance, General Mangabrani goes fishing with his closest aides. He once studied psychological warfare in Germany and knows how important it is to look after your men's mental health. Like many of Indonesia's top brass, Major General Mangabrani earned his stars and his fortune in East Timor in the first few years after the invasion. Military legend now has it that like those early days in East Timor, there are two ways to return home from duty in Aceh, rich or in a coffin. Anggota Bapak yang hilang selama... selama masalah ada di Aceh berapa? Out here, Mangabrani is more interested in catching fish than answering questions. These are the foot soldiers in this conflict. They say they love it here. Yeah, sedap sedap, enak gitu. Enaknya apa? Enaknya ya kita namanya tentara kan tugas tentara kan perang, ya kan? Di sini kadang rasakan perang betul gitu. They say their main problem is targeting the right people. Ma, kalau di sini kan susah bedakan aja. Susah apa? Susah bedakan. Dari? Antara masyarakat sama gam itu susah dibedakan. Kalau tahu bedakan itu cepat kali. As part of the military's attempt to improve its image as a professional army, each soldier sent to Aceh is given a pocketbook 
outlining the Human Rights Code of Conduct. Clause 4B1B, for example, instructs soldiers to be nice to pregnant women. And Clause 4D1A teaches them not to burn down innocent people's houses. They are supposed to carry the book with them. <laughs> The Dutch government, through the UN, is funding a series of human rights training programs for both the military and police. These officers are taking the community policing course, the first test to gauge how brutal they are. Little by little, they say they are changing their ways. And in the controlled environment of the classroom, I saw a policeman successfully intervene to stop a fight. By trying to convince the world they are reforming, the armed forces hope to overturn the funding freeze imposed by the West after they destroyed East Timor. But even the army spokesman, Lieutenant Colonel Fidels, admits that problems remain. Kita sangat confident karena memang sebelum mereka kemari, mereka sudah diberikan satu pembekalan cukup lama. Kemudian selama di sini kita awasi terus, kita berikan satu apa namanya koridor dia bermain. Kita juga tidak pungkiri bahwa namanya prajurit manusia ada yang mungkin uh, tidak disiplin, tapi itu tidak menggambarkan utuh semua. With the red groper starting to bite, Mangabrani now believes peace is not far away. For the top brass in Aceh, whether army or police, life is pretty sweet. When you get to this level, you don't have to put up with any nonsense. Aceh is now Mangabarani's personal fiefdom, and he's brought his oldest and most trusted friends on board to help run it. This man is the head of internal security. This man runs Indonesia's National Traffic Police, who make a fortune from bribery and extortion. At the other end of the boat, these young officers hope they too may end up promoted to the happy, happy department.
they say that life has improved since the fishing general arrived. Polisi perairan itu jadinya ditekan untuk melaksanakan tugas semaksimal mungkin dengan memperbaiki kapal, speedboat, dan juga bukan hanya untuk yang kita pakai mancing ataupun rekreasi juga yang lain kapal yang lain gitu pak. With their idealism still intact, these young recruits see policing as a noble mission. Ya, karena dari dari semenjak dari kecil kita nengok di TV khususnya media televisi itu nampaknya uh, polisi itu uh, bergaul sama masyarakat khususnya di dalam bidang kamtimas. Jadi secara nggak langsung dekat dengan masyarakat karena kita hidup sebagai manusia itu ya secara nggak langsung itu harus saling bermasyarakat itu ber saling tolong menolong sesama masyarakat yang lain. Jadi nggak secara nggak langsung dari hati nurani kita itu tersentuh ya sejaknya ingin jadi masuk polisi gitu. The Indonesian police force is widely regarded as one of the most corrupt institutions in the country. Back on the beat in the capital, local police are checking motorists' papers against a list of gum members. We didn't catch any, but the night wasn't entirely wasted. Mobil yang bagus, stop. The owner of this car is now walking home. He didn't have his registration papers, so we confiscate his car. Oh. Where is it low? Hidupin bagaimana itu? Hidupin bagaimana? Bagaimana? Enak dipakai. Susah jadi orang kaya enggak tahu. The owner will have to come and collect his car from the station tomorrow and pay a bribe to get it back. But for tonight, it's ours, and we're going to have some fun. President Megawati Sukarno Putri has just launched a major drug offensive, but it's common knowledge that the armed forces control or profit from much of the trade. We're off to the local disco to catch some users. But the only users I saw that night were with me in the car. <laughs> Meta-amphetamine, or ice, is becoming a major problem in Indonesia. In Aceh, the war zone, it's no different. The only discotheque in town is a seedy place, full of prostitutes, army and police officers and drugs are readily available. None of this would be possible without their direct involvement. But it gets far worse than this. In East Timor, the military gave their militia proxies mad dog pills to make them crazy. Here in Aceh, young boys, like 10-year-old Marzuki, are given money and drugs by soldiers who get them to spy on gum. Di, bisa hilang pikiran, tidak ngerti apa-apa lagi. 
Mazuki passed the soldiers information that led to the deaths of three of Ishak Daud's men. He's now Gum's hostage and is being held for re-education. Whatever they get up to at night time, by day the police have to at least appear to be good Muslims if they have any hope at all of winning the hearts and minds of the deeply religious Achenese people. So the boys have been sent down to the mosque to pray alongside the people. Yang selama ini masyarakat mengatakan bahwa polisi kok nggak pernah sholat. Jadi nggak nampak karena kita tidak berpakaian dinas. Banyak polisi yang sholat tapi karena berpakaian preman masyarakat kan nggak tahu. Nah kita tunjukkan bahwa polisi itu memang sholat. Dia punya agama. Nah, jadi bukan kemari itu untuk menangkapin orang yang tidak sholat. Jadi bukan semata-mata tidak ya. Back on dry land after the fishing trip, it's time to divide the spoils. The fish will be distributed amongst the different police chiefs. Keeping them happy will shore up Mangabarani's power base. Jadi jangan bilang mancing itu tidak ada teorinya. But Yusuf Mangabarani has his eyes firmly set on even bigger fish. While the military's offensive is going well, Gum's civilian leaders are still out of reach. Yet they're sitting right under his nose. Hold up here in this hotel in Banda Aceh. Kami merasa <coughs> tempat inilah yang paling aman untuk kami tinggal sekarang. Karena sejak kami di These are the Gum representatives waiting to return to Switzerland for the next round of peace talks with the Indonesian government. Lima enam kali sudah pertemuan di Jenewa, tetapi selalu saja hasil perundingan yang tertulis di kertas itu tidak pernah diimplementasikan di kita sekarang lapangan. Mereka hanya melakukan propaganda kepada luar negeri bahwa mereka sudah melakukan dialog di Aceh, tapi dialog itu saya melihat hanya untuk basa-basi. Even though they are officially recognized as delegates by the government in Jakarta. Yusuf Mangabarani can't wait to pounce. Ini sedang dibicarakan dengan HDC kapan saat mereka mempunyai uh, diberi perlindungan dan kapan tidak. Sedang kita koordinasikan secara intensif dan kalau dia di luar dari status perunding akan kita tangkap. And an international conference called to discuss the Swiss peace talks has been cancelled on the general's orders. So it's very regretful. We've been traveling from all over the, the world just to, to, to attend this, this very important conference. This is probably the very first seminar for many years, an international seminar uh, on this uh, important topic of, of uh, peace talks. And then suddenly the authorities decide just uh, to ban this. Mm. There is already a dialogue going on in Switzerland. Exactly. And yet, yeah. to talk about it here in Aceh yeah. is not, not, not on. Mm. It is completely illogical. Back in East Aceh, Ishak Daud is going through the daily incident reports. He says there's news of more houses burned down, revenge attacks after Gam carried out an ambush. From here, it's difficult to see where all of this can end. Ini yang kita masing-masing menunggu. Tapi kalau satu saat keadilan ini juga tidak sampai ke Aceh, bangsa Aceh dibantai tiap hari. Saya rasa contoh yang paling dekat kita kita perbandingkan hari ini kesabaran, kesabaran bangsa Palestin. Anak-anak kecil taruh bom di pinggang masuk ke, ke ke Israel. Ini bukan tidak akan terjadi satu saat di Aceh. <tuh>